actually, did you take any, like, offense to the comments that Pimp C said about, uh, you know, Atlanta rappers in Atlanta and all that stuff? Uh, did I take offense? Yeah, did it bug you a little bit? Nah, I mean, at the end of the day, that don't apply to me. I'm, pr I'm from Atlanta, but, you know, at the end of the day, he wasn't talking to me. Mm. And then, you know, he's an OG, man. Yeah. So, he's got, it's certain things that he, he has to do, he has to take a responsibility of because of who he is. He has to say that, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And then later on, he came out and apologized about the, the whole comment about Atlanta not being the South. He, he knows Atlanta's the South. Yeah. It wasn't even it wasn't even said in that context. It was just saying that from a standpoint of what a lot of the stuff that's going on in hip hop right now, he's not he doesn't personally agree with it. Mm -hmm. And being that he's an OG, he got to step up and say that because you know mm -hmm. he actually he pioneered this shit now. Yeah, definitely. No doubt. Um, coming up, like who are your main influences coming up music wise? Person, like what really made you get on this grind? Um, I mean, he, he was, Scarface was, mm. you know, I feel like Scarface is one of the most incredible rappers of all time. I you agree. Know, descriptive, he paints a picture, you know, um, Bun B, mm. his wordplay is incredible, dope, fucking, um, Andre 3000, you know, like I said, Jay, Biggie, Nas, mm -hmm. you know, shit, I mean, well done. you name it, so it's hip hop. That's what's up. How well did you know Proof before his killing and all that stuff? I used to talk to Proof at least once a week. So he got killed. Wow. So, so I'm sure that impacted you dramatically, right? When I when I when I signed with with Shady Aftermath, Proof was kind of like the person. You know, like when you you get a new house and somebody show you around, mm -hmm. he's the guy that, that always that showed me around. He really. Wow. Me in. So yeah, that, that was definitely another when great he, loss. When he, got, when, when he got killed, you know. I damn near was crying like a newborn, man. Wow. You know what I'm saying? To me, like, people be like, I think tears are reserved for the dead. That's when you supposed, that's when the tears are supposed to come, you know? No doubt. I be like a lot of, a lot of, a lot of my own girls be crying, cry over a dude and shit, or mm. see a mother, you know, all kind of shit, a dog, or not a dog, but you know, anything. Mm. Well, when you lose somebody close to you like that, that's when them tears gotta come out, cause that shit hurt. That person ain't coming back. No doubt, man. You, you know, it's not a guarantee you won't see them again. It depends on your personal beliefs and how what you believe. At one point, did you feel like you really had to watch your back? I mean, first, first, you know, the um, thing with Obi, and then you know, prove. Being a being a being a being a nigga that lived. Being first of all, I just you ain't gotta be in the hood. Being a black man, right? Of having any type of success, or even not having any type of anything, where more folks can look and be jealous of of you. Mm -hmm. Be envious of you, you gotta watch your back. All the way around. You know, because at the end of the day, um, people are struggling out here, man. People are poor, dog. They don't got no money. That's you know what I'm saying? And, and when they see somebody that, that might have more than them or they think they got more than them, you know what I mean? We've been, we've been conditioned as a people to fucking destroy ourselves, man. Mm -hmm. we, we are, we've been taught through generations to be envious and jealous of each other and that's why we act like that you know what I'm saying yep that's why we, that's why we do the, we do the, the things we do so with that being said all of us gotta watch our back dog you gotta watch your back you hosting this show motherfuckers in your neighborhood like oh he got this show yeah, blah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. they looking at you you gotta watch when you pull up that's you know what I'm saying cause they think you got something that you that you might you might be struggling they don't even know it because it's all about perception it's what people it's what it's not what it is, mm -hmm. it's what people think it is. You know what I'm saying? It's like fake it till you make it all day long. Yeah, people don't really have, most people don't even have what they think that, that the world perceives them to have. They mm -hmm. struggling, but it's what a motherfucker see, and that's what they go off of. Tom Cruise ain't getting robbed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tom Cruise got more money than most of the rappers, dog. Mm -hmm. But he probably ain't, he ain't stunting. He don't got to stunt. Sure. He don't got to prove that he rich, because everybody know he rich. Out, man. You, you feel what I'm saying? When yeah. you got it, you don't even got to look like you got it. When the last time you seen Bill Gates make it rain, though? <laughs> Nigga, Oprah ain't making shit rain. Mm -hmm. When the last time you seen it? It don't happen. <laughs> it don't happen. <laughs>
Yeah, the man. richest motherfuckers don't make it rain, which means the people making it rain ain't rich. Yep. Don King said some shit, dog. You quote me right now, man. Mm. Listen, Don King said, if you can count your money, you don't got none. Wow. You understand that? If you can count it, you don't got it. That's real. No doubt, man. You, de- you definitely seem like you're really up on the times. And, and and personally, I think you could be a voice that, you know, you, you can use your popularity and, and your deal to, to reach the masses. And, um... I mean, what's your views on, like, you know, like, the politics going on right now? I mean, we've got a new president that, you know what I'm saying, next year that, that cats really need to, you know, to vote for or whatever. I mean, I mean, what you, you leaning towards, Barack, Hillary, you up on that? It does, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter which one of them people that are in the office. Because there's a, there's a force and a power that operates uh, underneath the president that's much more powerful than the actual person that's in that position. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Those agendas that these people, the presidency is a popularity contest. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, it has nothing to do with anything other than that. Mm-hmm. It's who's the most popular, you know what I mean? But those those people, Barack and all of them, and, and Hillary, it's like, they're, none of the decisions that they make are gonna, uh, uh, like, are going to affect our country because it's other people that, that do that. Mm-hmm. 